Well, hi everyone. We're back here in front of the Tesla now that it's all clean. We got the mud off and whatnot. And uh, we've uh, taken my little trusty gap gauge here and we've gone through the car. So I will tell you that my first impression was that the car looked good. Now, normally we like to do these things in white. White is the easiest and best for seeing gap problems. This one's red, so it, it hides a little bit. I want to tell you first off that, uh, we'll start with the good news, that these uh, front doors, both doors, are absolutely the exact same dimensions. Both top and bottom, front and back, this is, this is in great shape. The, um, um, the rear door sill, or sorry, the front door sills are a little bit out. They're out by about a millimeter. Uh, instead of having a, a gap of four, uh, one was three and the other one was four. Or one, one was five and one was four. So a little bit, uh, a millimeter, not, not too many people are going to probably see, but what a vast difference from the ones where I could stick my finger in on the three and then the other one, it was rubbing against the, uh, the lower part of the door. So <clears throat> on the doors um, uh, for front and rear, uh, and that's the top and the sill as well, the, the gaps are pretty good. Now when we get down to the... Um, when we get down to the, uh, let's look at the, uh, the uh, uh, rear hatch gate. Um, the lift gate wasn't as uh, happy. Um, so we've got uh, at the top of the lift gate, at the fascia sides, we're looking at uh, a difference of, um, of uh, one millimeter on one side and, uh, and three and a half at the other. Uh, that's, uh, that's a kind of a big gap. And, um, when we look at the bottom, it, we're going from three to four, one millimeter um, at that, that point, probably not as, uh, not as significant. Um, then we start looking at the uh, lift gate where the, uh, the lamps are. Again, absolutely perfect, uh, four, get, four millimeters each. The uh, lift gate uh, roof rail at the top there, we're looking at a fairly significant gap. There's a difference of about a mil and a half. Uh, we would definitely uh, not be happy with that. Um, and then we got uh, the lift gate uh, to the uh, quarter panels, um, again, out by about a millimeter. But the worst one actually was the, um, <clears throat> the tail lamps to the body. <clears throat> um, these, are, these are out quite a bit. Um, three and a half on one side and six on the other. So that... Um, that, that's not good. Uh, that's something that they're going to have to work on. But again, I thank, uh, thank God that we got this, uh, this uh, car a little on the early side. Uh, I'm sure that they'll start tuning things in, just as I was certain that the Model 3 would start tuning things in. Uh, again, all in all, <clears throat> not bad. Still not as good as what I'd like to see. We, uh, we would normally uh, ding a car, a North American car, but um, for, uh, for an early stage product, this is, uh, this is pretty good. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll keep you informed. There'll be probably more stuff coming up tomorrow.